Now the first step is to restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 non-RT version. Now for this you can make a right click and then go to properties and then go to the betas tab and then over here select the option which says DX11 underscore non-RT and then once you select it there will be an update once the update is complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update if you have installed any codec codec software so you can update it or you can uninstall those codec software so if you're using windows media player codec pack you can either you can update it or you can uninstall it if you're using k -Lite, you can uninstall it or update it so in my case i have install this uh, k light so you can open control panel and then click on uninstall a program and let me check here i have k light codec pack so just uninstall it make our, uh, the my right click and then click on uninstall it click on yes and let let the uninstall complete if you have any other kind of uh, codec uh, application like windows media player codec in that case if you find in settings uh, you can go to apps and if you can if you can find it in installed app you can uninstall it from here so uninstall any kind of a codec application once you're done playing the game if you need it you can reinstall it you can install it back once again now the next step is to delete delete this ms spatial dot dll file now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder over here you can see this ms spatial dot dll file first of all create a backup so copy this file and you can just keep a backup once you have a backup now you can delete it or you can rename it so if if you want you can just make a right click and then delete it you already have a backup you can delete it and then launch the game if you can even try to rename it and then you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem uh, you can just put the original uh, file back now next step is to delete the config file to delete the config file uh, you can just make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder and over here you can see re7 config file uh, you can just create a backup all the saved settings will be lost when you delete it so you can create a backup once you have a backup now you can rename it or you can simply delete it and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to let me uninstall this first okay now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder make a double click launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam you can launch the game uh, from the game installation folder and then check if that does not work you can make a right click and then go to properties put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you still not working then again uh, you can make a right click on the game game exe file and then select properties go to this tab put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now it's still not working in that case you can uh, when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then in that case open windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so open the game folder this is the location and then select the game exe file click on open 
now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow on the app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added uh, you will see the game once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver and again restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open once the game is added over here find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game over here select high performance over here and now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has also worked so if the latest graphic card driver is not working i'm showing for nvidia you can again go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see view more version scroll down and then click on view more version and so the latest one right now is 576.52 if this is not working you can maybe you can install the previous version maybe old version maybe you can try this uh, 576.28 uh, g force game ready driver you can install it or you can scroll down and you can install this uh, g force game ready driver that is 5 566.36 but when you download it when you go for installation select custom and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card which we have already done now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dax dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty this and then follow the next step next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on windows update and then click on check for update over here you will see check for update option check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 version so click on x86 file and then run the cxe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install 
and let the installation complete. Now once both are installed, you can close this and then you can restart. You can be restart is a must after this, after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default and then close all the overlay application, overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit or any kind of overclocking application running, you can close it and then launch the game. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, uh, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, general tab. Over here, uh, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings and then turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close, uh, turn off overlay in, in all the application or you can also close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have Hotas, Wheel, Pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Uh, if you have any third party application or services running, uh, you can just close all the third party services and application and then launch the game. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, 
or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive in that case you can try to install the game to another another hard drive or ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel